I'm scoring sick goals, I got mad techers, and I've got over 100 million IG followers. Like, what else do I gotta do to be liked? It's ridiculous, man. You're so dumb. How could anyone not like you? According to Forbes, Neymar De Silva Santos Jr., or as he is more commonly known, Neymar Jr., is number four on the list of world's highest paid athletes in 2020. He's actually moved down one space from being number three last year after Roger Federer springboarded to the top of this year's list. Widely considered one of the best players in the world, Neymar has played for the likes of Santos, Barcelona, and Paris Saint Germain, as well as playing for the Brazilian national team. In 2017, Neymar signed a five year contract with Paris Saint Germain that guaranteed him a base salary of around $50 million per year, but he also earns an additional $20 to $40 million a year in bonuses and endorsements, bringing his annual total up to something closer to 90 mil and his overall net worth to an astounding 185 million. Despite banking heaps of money for himself, Neymar has actually held off on purchasing a house outright to call his own and has mainly gotten by with renting the nicest of possible homes in Paris as well as Beverly Hills before finally laying down roots in Rio de Janeiro after buying a mansion there a couple of years ago. Neymar Jr. was born in Brazil on February 5th, 1992. By the time he was only 11 years old, his family had already moved to Santos so that Neymar could join Santos FC when he was trained at their youth academy. By the time he was 14, he had traveled to Spain to join the Real Madrid youth team at a time when stars like Ronaldo and David Beckham were playing for the club. He made his professional debut at the age of 17 and within a handful of years he transformed himself into one of the most exceptional players to ever take the field, earning himself monster contracts in the process. Since transferring to Paris in 2017, there have been endless rumors that Neymar is actually looking to get back to Barcelona, the team he left for Paris. But with the recent season being suspended, the only place that Neymar Jr. has been spending a lot of time at lately is his Rio de Janeiro estates. This $10 million mansion really does seem to have it all, the least of which being its very own helipad. But that's not the only home I'm going to give you an inside look at today. I'm also going to bring you on a tour of a couple other places Neymar rented out over the years, including a historic home in Paris and a luxurious Airbnb in Beverly Hills. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We'll be looking at where Neymar Jr. calls home since I got some requests for this one. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours and likes of Lewis Hamilton and Lionel Messi, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. And let's get into this video. To kick things off, we're going to take a look at the five-story building that Neymar rented out for an astounding $17,000 per month after signing his massive contract with Paris back in 2017. This 10,800 square foot mansion is situated in the posh western part of Paris, 10 miles from the center of the city. This area has been home to a ton of celebrities over the years, including everyone's favorite French actor Gerard Depardieu, as well as footballer Ronaldinho. The property sits on top of a hilltop and was originally the home of an architect having been built in the 1950s. It has over 5,000 square meters of garden space situated around the property too. But the inside is a pretty well guarded secret. Reportedly, it features a giant indoor swimming pool located in the basement, complete with sun loungers and views that spill out onto the garden. In addition, there's also a sauna, a Turkish bath, and a massive game room where people can hang out and have fun, something that Neymar and his friends are always looking to do. I wanted to throw you all a surprise party, you know, to show how much I don't hate playing with y'all in France. We can't party. We have a match tomorrow. Okay, never stopped me before. Neymar didn't end up staying at this property for all that long, the reason being that he had a major problem with fans reportedly scaling his walls and making their way onto the property. After that happened a handful of times, Neymar eventually left and relocated to an undisclosed home somewhere else in Paris that hasn't been revealed to keep the same thing from happening again. Everyone on PSG is like so judgmental. I need to go somewhere where I can clear my head. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we should go somewhere you can That's clear your head. Idea. Yeah, like a pizza. Next, we're going to take a look at a vacation spot that Neymar has returned to time and time again. In fact, he's even been spotted hanging out with good friend Justin Bieber when he visited this spot. Every celebrity wants to spend time in Beverly Hills, and Neymar Jr. is no different, renting out this million dollar mansion for over 9K a night, whenever he's in town. The residence is modeled after Le Petit Trianon at Versailles in France. I promise you that the inside is just as beautiful as the outside when it comes to this equivalent to an American palace. The plush French chateau style villa boasts 7 bedrooms, 12 bathrooms, 
and can accommodate up to 14 guests at a time, with its own cinema, gigantic swimming pool, jacuzzi, and tennis courts in its 22,000 square feet of space, situated on 5.2 acres of land. But that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the type of amenities this place comes jam-packed with. Okay, fine. You guys want to see it? No problemo. It also features a library, wine cellar, gym, sauna, breakfast room, chef's kitchen, powder room, elevator, and a service staff consisting of a maid, a butler, and chauffeur. Of course, when you're spending your time off at a place as nice as that, you just know that your own personal home has got to keep up. And thankfully for Neymar Jr., his mansion in Brazil does exactly that. Check this one out. Finally, we've come to Neymar Jr.'s actual home, a mansion that he bought in 2016 for $10 million, about 60 miles down the coast from Rio de Janeiro. The two and a half acre plot of land rests in a gated community known locally as Portobello and in the middle of the Mangaratiba Resort, the same place where Sylvester Stallone shot some of the expendables. The interior of the home boasts a decor of fresh style and modern furniture with a simple cream and brown color theme to complement the five bedrooms and bathrooms located inside. The exterior of the property features a helipad and even its very own jetty spilling out onto the ocean. That's where Neymar docks his private yacht, a 115 foot monster worth a reported $8 million, or should I say that's where he used to dock it, before it was taken away by Brazilian authorities over some questionable tax decisions in 2018. But hey, I'm willing to bet he enjoyed it while he had it. Recently, Neymar has been staying at this property since shelter at home orders came down all over the world, and he's managed to keep himself busy with plenty of self-isolation essentials like a home gym, tennis court, sauna, massage room, spa, and jacuzzi. And if that's not enough to keep him occupied, it also boasts an underground cellar with space for 3,000 bottles of wine, which I sure as hell know would do me for at least the next six months or however long all this craziness lasts for. And hey, if he's feeling bored, maybe he can extend his social circle by visiting his neighbors, footballer Emerson Sheik and Brazilian Emmy-nominated actress Adriana Estevez. Alright guys, I think that's going to bring us to the end of our Neymar Jr. house tour. What did you guys think? Are you surprised despite all the money he makes, he only owns one home? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, as well as whose house we should take a tour of next. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!